Oh, fuck. Jesus. Yeah. I have some sort of diarrhea. <clears throat> God. Uh, I just want to make one thing clear. I'm sorry that my... Uh, the video I was recording and uploading yesterday, um, it was like this. Uh, I am going to try to have this more uh, this way uh, because instead of like the 19 times 16 format I'm just having this one right here so yeah okay enough said we are or I am going to talk about uh, Thai food Thai food in general or spicy food yeah spicy food so uh, a little bit of backstory i am half thai half norwegian and uh, some other mix like asian mix or whatever uh, when i was little my digestive system were amazing like even though it was spicy my stomach could actually handle it my intestines and my yeah they could actually handle spicy food now when I, I got older, but it can be also because I usually don't eat spicy food a lot. And uh, normally when I eat spicy food or Thai food in general, I just waste my mom because she's making the food. But as I got older, like in the twenties, I can't handle it. Like the, the, sp the spice tolerance are the same. But the next day, I just have to go take a fucking shit. I have to take a huge load of dump. Like a watery fucking shit. Because I can't handle it. And it uh, also affects my mood, sleep, and everything. I, it really sucks, really, because, yeah, I have to adapt to the situation. I, don't, I can't eat the same as I did before. Uh, even though I go on medications for heart pal palpitations, no, not heartburn, heartburn, uh, for heartburn, um, it doesn't work really, it doesn't work. I have tried to neutralize the spiciness with the drinking milk or ice cream or whatever, uh, but no, I don't know. I also tried different methods of a uh, with chili, like instead of eating it uh, raw, I cook it at a certain temperature. But no, I don't think it works. Or at least I have tried it though. Yeah. So it really sucks because I feel like when you are not implementing chilies in Thai food, you are essentially uh, taking away the essentials from Thai food. I feel like spiciness is very important in Thai food. Otherwise, you're missing a component. It's not the same, really. Like, yeah, you get the savory taste, you get the saltiness, you get the umami, etc. But like, you're missing the spiciness. That tang, you know? You're missing that. So, uh... I uh, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's going to be like a good idea. So maybe I should stop eating Thai food or spicy food in general until I visit my mother or other Thai uh, parties, etc., whatever. And then I can eat that food and I'll take the consequences the next day. Because uh, like, I don't mind uh, having like a, uh, diarrhea like sometimes, but like every day trying to adapt to chilies, nah, fuck that, I can't. It uh, ruins my day. So yeah, I can't do that. Right, 
I think that's it. Um, sorry to bother you guys, but this is my... <laughs> you know what? We should call this toilet dailies. <laughs> Just because I'm sitting in a fucking toilet uh, talking about my personal issues with spicy food. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'd, I'm not gonna bore you guys, so uh, take care. Bye bye. Yo, guys, what's up? So, I just have a huge fucking kebab, roll kebab uh, with lamb meat. And you know what? It was actually pretty good. That was really, really good. Taste wise, it's great. It's uh, spicy, it's garlicky, it has um, the right amount of sauce, it has the right vegetables. Nice! Very good. Give it a 7 out of 10. Really, really good. That is really good. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this with my soda. So take care. Bye bye. Yo, guys, what's up? It's me. Um, so today I have a 320 grams burger with uh, french fries on the side or chips. So we're gonna try a chip. Let's see if it's good or not. Uh, as you can see, it looks dry, but uh, the seasoning is somewhat a lot, so let's see here. Okay, it is soft on the inside, but it's not crispy on the outside. It's not. Um, but that can also be because of the moisture, uh, it, because of the packaging that makes it look that. The seasoning is overpowering in my opinion. Like I like I like salty French fries, but it's overpowering with a lot of salt, sodium, and um, other spices, Cajun spices or whatever. So uh, I'll give it a six out of ten. Yeah, six out of ten. Okay, here we have the burger, the double patties, okay. Um, it looks plain and simple. Let's see, let's have a taste, shall we? Okay, I don't have a napkin, sorry. But taste-wise, it's uh, overall okay. Um, it has the right elements, it has cucumber, it has iceberg lettuce, it has tomatoes, and it has onions. So I'm very happy and pleased with it. However, the bun, it's not crispy enough for me. Uh, I like it soft and crispy. Uh, the uh, patties, there are two patties here. It is frozen. It is not fresh. It's, it's, I like the meaty texture from real burgers. I don't like the frozen shit, in my opinion. But it's a fine burger. The dressing, it is a typical hamburger dressing, like um, sort of like a Thousand Island or better, I guess. So it has that flavor. It's very typical stuff so you should get. I wish that some burger shops actually make their own sauce. I really wish they do that because that actually stands out. The sauce is like a complementary to this uh, hamburger. So it is okay. Like I'd give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10, like nothing much. So I paid around 249 kroner. That's probably around 20-ish euros, I think. So yeah, um, I'm gonna enjoy this or at least try to so, uh, but yeah, I didn't expect much from this, right? I have to go to a real burger shop to have a decent burger or a better. So yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Yo, peeps, what's up? Another toilet wizard. <laughs> just talking, just chilling, you know, as always. Yeah. So this is the last day I'm going to be alone. Uh, I've been alone for over a week now. Uh, my dad, my sister, and uh, two other people are uh, have gone away. Yeah, vacation. 
Well, while they had a vacation, I was uh, being here. You might want to think why. When it comes to social interactions, mainly I am worried about not only them, but me as well. Like in, in social aspects, I can be okay. I can adapt, but um, with family, no. And besides, I, uh, it makes me really uncomfortable to be around my family sometimes. It does. But uh, that is a personal issue. It's not their fault or anything. I'm not implying that. But uh, there's an issue that I have to fix. And uh, will I fix it? Probably not. But uh, that is my issue. I have to stand by it. So, yeah. I will probably next year go on vacation. I'm not sure where. If I am very lucky that I can save a lot of money, probably Thailand, because that's where I'm. Well, my ethnicity is Thai and the other. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I have no idea what to expect. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, so that's probably it. Not much more info, other than that I have to drive to my sister's home, uh, make sure that the cat is fed with cat food and it's going outside, just letting him in and out, the usual. Then I have to clean there a little bit so that it looks okay when they arrive home. Uh, and then after that, I'll probably go grab something to eat. I don't know what to eat, but uh, I have ate like fucking burgers, kebabs and pizza every day since uh, they left from home. I haven't actually taken care of myself that much. I haven't eaten like healthy or uh, whole foods. So uh, I'll probably eat some whole foods today and start going to the gym again and do some 10k steps like I, well, normally do. <laughs> it's because uh, on Wednesday I have to go to work, so I have to be mentally and physically prepared for that. And uh, yeah, gotta be healthy again. I don't want to be like a fucking slob for no reason at all. So yeah. All right, this was my bathroom talk. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>